So there are many issues with the current crops that growers are struggling with. Uh, it can be the increased labor cost and you know new new diseases, pest issues, and difficult to find labors too. And many growers are looking for new crops that can be more profitable than current crops. That's why that's the main reason we are trying to study the potential of new crops. And I studied blackberry and also artichoke, uh, pomegranate and hops. And blackberry is the crop that many strawberry growers are trying to grow right now. And artichoke is something like even newer that uh, not many people have tried growing. But these two crops uh, you know, have potential. The grower price can be good, especially artichoke. The grower price is good. Uh, in the grocery store, it's sold for one to five dollars per head. And each plant can produce multiple heads. It can, you know, and when you compare the production value of artichoke with major crops in Florida, it's generally higher than most of crops. So that's why, you know, we think that the potential, you know, high profit is really attractive. And what we are trying to do is, you know, uh, we are trying to find out if we, if we can really grow these two crops because they are not adapted to our climate. So that's the major challenge. And both artichoke and blackberries, they are adapted to temperate climate where winter is much cooler. And actually that's almost a requirement for these two crops because they had to experience a certain number of chill hours in order to initiate a flowering process or in case of uh, blackberry they you know they produce parts before winter but they had to break the dormancy and they can break dormancy only when they accumulate enough two hours and we don't have two hours so i'm trying to focus on management practices that can overcome the chilling requirement and we found that application of plant hormone Gibberellic acid is uh, really effective. So this is the hormone that the plants normally produce after they accumulate enough two hours. So this hormone is the internal signal to initiate the flowering process. And because we don't have two hours, we apply this hormone so we can force plants to initiate the flowering process.